The Lost Oases by A. M. Hassanine Bay, An Analysis The Lost Oases by A. M. Hassanine Bay is a captivating and historically significant travelogue that takes readers on a journey through the remote and mysterious oases of the Libyan desert. Published in 1925, this book not only serves as an invaluable record of the author's daring adventures but also provides a window into the largely uncharted territories of North Africa during the early 20th century. One of the most striking aspects of Hassanine Bey's narrative is his ability to transport readers to the heart of the Libyan desert. Through vivid and evocative prose, he paints a rich tapestry of the oasis' landscapes, cultures, and people. His descriptions of the endless sand dunes, the scorching sun, and the oasis' lush vegetation create a sensory experience that immerses the reader in the harsh yet enchanting environment of the desert. The author's keen observation and attention to detail make it possible for readers to envision the stark beauty and unforgiving nature of the desert, all while emphasizing the allure of these hidden oases. Furthermore, Hassanine Bey's deep respect and fascination for the indigenous people he encounters during his journey are evident throughout the narrative. His interactions with the Tuareg tribes and other desert dwellers offer valuable insights into their way of life, traditions, and the challenges they face in surviving in such a hostile environment. The author's empathy and curiosity help bridge the cultural divide and humanize these remote and often misunderstood communities. One of the central themes of The Lost Oases is the spirit of exploration and adventure. Hassanine Bey's determination to uncover and map the lost oases of the Libyan desert is nothing short of remarkable. His quest to fill the gaps in existing maps and geographical knowledge of the region speaks to the indomitable human spirit and the thirst for discovery. This theme resonates with readers on multiple levels, encouraging them to venture beyond their comfort zones and explore the unknown. Moreover, the book sheds light on the geopolitical context of North Africa in the early 20th century. The region was a battleground for colonial powers, and the author's journey is fraught with challenges related to political instability, border disputes, and tribal conflicts. Hassanine Bey's navigation through this complex web of interests underscores the tumultuous history of the area and provides historical context for contemporary geopolitical issues. In addition to its exploration and geopolitical aspects, the Lost Oases also delves into the realm of archaeology and historical preservation. Hassanine Bey's encounters with ancient ruins, rock inscriptions, and historical artifacts add depth to the narrative, highlighting the rich historical tapestry of the Libyan desert. His commitment to preserving these treasures for future generations serves as a reminder of the importance of safeguarding our cultural heritage. The author's narrative style is both engaging and informative. He combines personal anecdotes with factual information seamlessly, making the book accessible to a wide range of readers, from adventure enthusiasts to history buffs. While the book is primarily a travelogue, it also contains elements of memoir, as the author reflects on his personal growth and transformation during his arduous journey. Hassanine Bey's writing is not without its flaws, however. Some readers may find his occasional reliance on stereotypes and orientalist tropes regarding the indigenous people of the desert troubling. While he generally treats the local populations with respect and empathy, there are moments when his perspective reflects the prevailing Eurocentric attitudes of his time. Furthermore, the author's perspective as a privileged, well-educated Egyptian may limit his ability to fully understand and represent the experiences of the marginalized communities he encounters. This limitation underscores the importance of reading The Lost Oases critically, recognizing its historical context and acknowledging the evolving understanding of cultural sensitivity. In conclusion, The Lost Oases 
by A. M. Hassanine Bey is a compelling and historically significant work that offers readers a glimpse into the remote and mysterious oases of the Libyan desert. Through vivid descriptions, encounters with indigenous peoples, and a spirit of adventure, the book immerses readers in a world that was largely uncharted at the time of its writing. While it has its shortcomings, primarily related to the prevailing attitudes of its era, it remains a valuable record of exploration, history, and culture. Hassanain Bey's journey serves as an enduring testament to the human spirit's capacity for discovery and the enduring allure of the unknown.